Now we're back to some amoebas. And if people keep calling me, I'm gonna end the stream and I'm gonna go raise some hell. So that's an amoeba you can actually see moving right here. And if you look, it might be ready to catch something right up here, this little tiny, you can see right there, that's two things that are actually alive, right, right, right there. And you can see the amoeba's going after it. So let's see what happens here. See them? So that one just moved. So I think that one got lucky. Let me go a little closer in here. So I think that little circle thing might be something this amoeba wants to uh, eat. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it looks like it's is surrounding it, so it looks like whatever that is, the amoeba likes it. So let's see if I can get a... So it did surround that little morsel, <laughs> whatever it was. Uh, it's surrounded and it's going to ingest it. Here's another one late to the party. Hey, Anita, on YouTube. I've been having trouble with YouTube. I don't know, for whatever reason, I got people calling me this morning. And I hate to block all calls because, you know, my granddaughter's at school. Things can happen. I don't like to block calls, so I just have to live with it. And whenever somebody calls and disrupts my stream, it goes to a black screen. So I've been having to restart all the time. So this is an amoeba moving out. This one's actually moving. It wants to go somewhere. And these amoeba on here, I got these. This Friday will be seven weeks. So I know it's only Tuesday. So let's say last Friday was six weeks that I had these amoeba. Yeah, separate business phone and personal phone. I got to look into doing some stuff because I, I I find myself streaming once a day or so. And it's just something with YouTube when you're streaming on the phone and the, the phone goes off. It just, the, the stream will stay live, but the picture will go black. Really aggravating. So I'm, I'm going to figure that out, you know, so I can get professional here. <laughs> You can see this amoeba right here is really, really hightailing it somewhere. See? So this amoeba, oh look, here's a little, little something down here. You gonna go by that amoeba? Huh? Go ahead. Go check out the amoeba. Mm, what's that? Beware the blob. <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> Come on. Maybe the amoeba maybe the amoeba sees it. Maybe it'll go go down. Go down, amoeba. I forgot the name of that thing. Uh hydro hydro. I, there's so many things on here that go back and forth every day. I, I, I forget the names. I guess I'll have to put a poster up of them. Now you can see how this amoeba is stretching out. This is actually on the top of the slide. So this little finger's on the top slide. 
and that down there is on the bottom slot. So he's actually going uphill right now. And you can see it looks like he's going to let go down here and be all on the top slot here. And here's this little thing. Let's see if this amoeba... No, he's not going to get that. that. That little creature right there is really low on the slide, and this amoeba is kind of high on the slide. The way you know that is if they're both in focus at the same time, that's how you know they're on the same plane. And these two are almost on the same plane, so not quite. Let's see what happens here. I guess he, I think the amoeba's playing it, playing it calm here. I can't imagine this amoeba can catch that thing. That thing's pretty spry, pretty move, moves around pretty good. Is this another kind of amoeba? No, I don't know what that is. But this amoeba is kind of staying still here. Let's see if he's trying to fake this thing out and trying to wrap around him. Yeah, see, he's trying to... See, now they're on the same plane. See how they're both in the same focus? So the amoeba definitely senses him there. And he like, <laughs> sensed the amoeba. <laughs> Goodbye. So yeah, you could see the amoeba did come up to that level. Whenever things are in the same focus, that means they're on the same plane. So this amoeba did try to uh, stalk this little guy. Oh, he's still after him, look. Here he comes. <laughs> and I don't know, they can't see or anything like that. So what's happening is he must be able to feel the water current. I'm not sure how that works. But he's going after him. Let's see if he takes a left-hand turn here, if he knows. See, he stopped. Oh, uh, look, look. So he's not giving up. That amoeba is really wasting his time with that thing. I can't imagine that that thing stays still long enough for this amoeba to wrap around. Uh-oh, come on, stay there. Stay there. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. This is, this right here, new egg, is an amoeba stalking a protist here, of which I don't have the ID for. I don't, I doubt this amoeba can catch this thing. This thing's pretty quick. And as far as my understanding goes, the amoeba don't have any kind of poison or anything, so. But notice, see, that thing knows, that thing knows that amoeba was after it. See how it just moves around? It's almost like it's playing with the amoeba. See, there's another one right there. So yeah, it's just playing with the amoeba. Yeah, amoeba. Like the blob. I have a bunch of amoebas on here. This is a good slide for amoebas. <laughs> I had these amoebas on here for, this is six weeks, going on six weeks. There's another one. They're just too many to count. They're all over the place. See, here's a bigger one, look. So here's one that's kind of big.
And I could, let me play with the light a little again. So this way you get a little kind of a 3D look to how an amoeba really looks. See that? That worm thing right there, that's a single cell creature called a, a, oh, a spirostonum. It's not a worm, it's a single cell. And the amoeba, they will try to wrap around those, but I've never seen one catch them. It's almost impossible. So, yeah, hello amoebas. And usually under regular light, you could see a red, I say it's red, but a red nucleus. I don't see the nucleus anywhere on these guys today. Let me see if I can see. No. Let me try, let me try what we call uh, bright, uh, Let me try to see if I can find one with a nucleus. Thanks, Nam. Yeah, I should have a, a good day. <laughs> People stop interrupting my streams <laughs> on my phone. So this is called dark field illumination, and I don't see a nucleus on this one. So let, let's keep looking. Let me see if I can find one with a nucleus. I mean, they all have nucleus, but... Being able to pick it out is different than being able to just assume that it's there. Let me put it on regular light. This is regular light. This is 40 times. And if you want to know how big this stuff is, you see that thing right there? That little thing? Or those little things? Those are grains of dirt. Okay, that came up with this sample. So that's actually some dirt. So that's how small these things are. That's dirt. And that's the amoeba right there. See it? <laughs> so you know how small it is. So you can see amoebas take all kind of shapes. Try to find some aliosoma. This green stuff right here, if you just join in, that's algae called spirogyra. Spirogyra. That's pretty good stuff. This is this is what uh tardigrades, they'll eat this stuff, they'll suck the juice out of it. So that's two strands of spirogyra, one on top of the other. I think. I think this one's on top, and I think that one's on the bottom. So the depth of field is minuscule. Amoeba, uh, this is amoeba. This right here, this, this green stuff, this is moss. This is actually where you get the tardigrades from. This is moss, that stuff that grows in, grows in the cracks and sidewalks, that little fuzzy stuff. So you pick up some of this stuff, not some of it, a handful of it. You put it in distilled water and you mix it around and wait a couple of days, mix it some more. Then you start putting drops of water on a slide and you'll, you'll find tardigrades right here. So that's what, that's what that is right there, moss. So that's moss. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the, uh, this is a rotifer right here. Oh no, that's a flat worm. That's a flat worm. Let me see if he'll cooperate and stay still, hang on. Yeah, that's a flat worm. These things tend to eat everything. I, I'm surprised with these flatworms on here that I have amoebas on here. They'll usually like eat anything. They're aggressive swimmers too. So 
Some people say he looks like Mr. Johnson. <laughs> and you can see those flatworms, they don't stay still because flatworms aren't microscopic. Oh, look at this. That's a surprise. On my amoeba, on my amoeba slide, I have tardigrade eggs. Let's see if we can see these moving like the other day. Hang on. So these are three tardigrade eggs sitting inside of a tardigrade skin. So what, what happens if you've never been here before, tardigrades with eggs will shed their skin and they leave the eggs inside the shedded skin so they can uh, <clears throat> have protection. See, the, if an amoeba comes around, the amoeba will touch that, that shell and it won't think that it's nutritious so it won't eat these eggs. If the eggs are sitting out there by themselves, they, they're going to be toast. So that's what this is. And you can see the outline of the, the uh, tardigrade perfectly. You can even see his feet. This is about 600X right here. And yesterday we were seeing some of these eggs move. Let's see if we can see these move. Well, my light is really messed up on this slide. Let's see. There's, a, there's probably a tardigrade on here somewhere that shed his skin. I, I was surprised to see a tardigrade on. I didn't know I had any on this slide. So you could see how things get contaminated. <laughs> so I actually got tardigrade on my uh, amoeba slide. There's another amoeba. There's an alio, I mean an aliosoma. That's a... Spirostonum rubbing up against that amoeba right there. Sometimes on a slide like, but look at that amoeba, you're going places, huh? That amoeba's moving out. That amoeba's in the Indianapolis 500. Check that out. And he's getting under some goop right here. Oh no, there he is. This is a th more of a 3D look. You kind of bend the light around the subject there. That might be a, a nucleus right. I think that is his nucleus look right. See that little reddish right there? I think that's his nucleus right there. So. Okay, so watch him for a second. This is the edge of the slide right here. So he's, he's kind of right to the edge. I'm gonna go grab me a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Scraping the bottom of the barrel in the coffee. Got the last cup. Ugh. So, here we are with amoeba. I know amoebas aren't that fun to watch, you know, all the time. But 
many people don't get to see him, you know, in real life. Uh, so here's one. It looked like he got to where he was going and kind of stopped. There's another amoeba right there to his right, a tiny one. So I don't think they're cannibals, but let's see what happens. That is a little tiny single-celled organism right there trying to get eaten up by the amoeba. <laughs> He's begging the amoeba to, to uh, jump on his ass. Uh-oh, this amoeba says, I see something down south I want to go get. Well, oh, look at him moving, huh? See, there's his, uh, see that red spot right there? That red spot, they, that right there, that red spot, that may be his, his or her nucleus, <laughs> or its nucleus. I don't know what this thing's pronouns are. I guess we call them they, them. <laughs> That's sad. All right. Sorry about that. Hey, thanks for my eight viewers on YouTube. That's a lot. I have 3,500 subscribers on YouTube, but I rarely get a lot of people watching. So this one's actually at the edge of the slide. So this one's going off into nowhere land. That is the nucleus right here. You see that red spot right there? I'll go out on a limb and say that's the nucleus. See how it moves around? The nucleus isn't in one spot. It'll move around. Yeah, this is a big amoeba, so I, I believe that is the nucleus. See how the nucleus is flowing down? And we're going to lose track of this one because he found something on the edge of the slot he likes. You can see with this 3D look how it sort of looks like the surface of the moon where you could see the indentions and stuff in the slide. This is just a trick of light. This is not a special microscope or anything. It's just a trick of light. I usually watch on Reddit. Merry Christmas. Hey, thanks, Blair. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for coming over to YouTube. On Reddit, you know, I get about 25 viewers normally. And then sometimes if, if a stream ends and people come over, I can get tens of thousands. But eight or nine people on YouTube for an hour really helps me out because it, it counts toward my streaming time so I can get monetized. <laughs> oh, God bless me. Let me get my call. I'm down in New Orleans. It's about 50 degrees today. Uh, by Friday and Saturday, it'll be 80. <laughs> so we're having a warm Christmas. Excuse me. I know you hear me drinking. Let me go find something more interesting. That, that amoeba took off. See, he went behind something. So we're not going to dwell on him. We try to find one that's flat. Here's another one. Actually, two of them. This slide is, is full of amoebas. I don't know how I did it, but it's full of amoebas. Uh, and they've been living for six weeks on this slide. Uh, six weeks? I think six weeks. Yeah, 41 in Memphis. Yeah, that's straight up Interstate 55 from here. So that, that is a little, it's about 10... 10 degrees colder than here. Um, and a lot of people think, you know, I don't want to get into the whole thing, but in New Orleans, I've been here for decades. I, I lived my whole life here. And since the 70s, I, I've been in Christmases where we used to play in vacant lots where they had rain and the ice was frozen two inches thick. And I've been in Christmases that were 84 degrees where you sweat and you dingling off, you know, all through my life. So 
you know, I'm a scientist. I got a biology degree, so I like to look at data over time. How do you obtain these slides? These slides, I just make them. This this is actually, these, these amoebas came over from some mud and moss, and these slides are big slides compared to what people usually think of slides. Let me show you what this is on YouTube. On YouTube, I can't show you, but uh, these slides look like tiny aquariums, um, and they're about three inches wide and two inches long, and they have about a maybe a tenth of a milliliter of water in them, so it's a kind of a lot of water for a slide. But the de the good thing about it is they don't dry out. You can keep adding water when it gets low, and these things can live for you know as long as they they don't get poisoned by bacteria or anything like that. Yeah, Blair was there for 10 years with the Navy. No kidding. Yeah, my uh, godfather's in the Navy. I don't think he was stationed here. He was a lifelong Navy guy, just retired. <laughs> Frank Rees, R-E-Y-E-S, -E I think. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it gets hot here. Like, you know, I have a neighbor from Connecticut that lives here. She goes, oh, my God, it's going to be 80 degrees. Something's wrong. I said, look, I'm telling you, it. it it could be 80 degrees this time, and New Year's Eve, it'll be 20 degrees. You know, and next year, it'll be uh, 10 degrees. I tell you what, the person on YouTube that just said about Katrina, I don't know if you remember, but in 2005, uh, no, it was Christmas 2004. Christmas 2004, it actually snowed here, okay, on Christmas Day. And it snowed enough to where you could throw snowballs around. It melted by the nighttime, but it it snowed where it got on the ground. You can build a snowman and things like that, you know, a little snowman. Well, we all thought that was great. Christmas, snow, snow, snow. Well, you know what happened? <laughs> you know what happened next August, huh? <laughs> Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> so the last time it snowed here is the last time we got totally wiped out. So every time it looks like it's going to snow, people panic. I'm going to go back to water bears for a little bit. Let me take this guy off. And let's see. Come on, water bear. I hope you're still here. Let me go to low power and regular light. Should be able to find one here. Spirogyra. There's one. You see this water bear right here? I used to think they were dead <laughs> when they did this, but they they not. I mean, sometimes they'll they'll get like that and stay there like that. And if I see them like that for a couple of days and none of them are moving, that's when I put them back in the outside habitat. But this one, you know, he looks like he's curled up. But you can see kind of he's healthy looking. He's not dry. He's not clear. So he's he's got his guts inside of him. So... Let me see if I can find one moving around. <clears throat> uh oh, there's my YouTube chat. Sorry about that. Reddit. So you can see how big this slide is. I mean, I'm really moving around. Right, here's a couple of them. There's a couple of water bears hanging around at the bottom. And there's some water bear eggs. So let's zoom in on this guy. So this one's at the bottom. You can see the bottom of the slide. And see that stuff? They like to eat that goop right there. That's just a, a clump of algae. That is two tardigrade eggs right there. So we do, we lucky here. We got some tardigrade eggs and we got a tardigrade here. What's the green thing? That green long thing on Reddit, was spirogyra, spirogyra, algae. This greenish thing is a water bear. See that spirogyra algae? That's a spirogyra that either the tardigrade sucked all the juice out or it's just dying. This is a healthy strand of spirogyra. See it right here? And tardigrades will eat that stuff. They'll suck the juice out of it. So this one's actually rooting around at the bottom of the slide. See them digging in that mess? This is just algae that 
they eat. So that, that tardigrade looks like he went underground. Where did he go? Yeah, he dug in the, in the muck there. So more spirogyra, that's tardigrade eggs. Where's it? Come on, you got. I gotta have more tardigrades on here. There's one. <laughs> this one's actually behind something also. So he's hard to see. You see he's behind, see that clump of stuff right there? He's actually behind that. So if I make that stuff out of focus and focus on him, you get him, but he's kind of faded out. So you can see how the physics of light works. <laughs> so as the as you zoom in or focus, the light will bend around that stuff and you can see right around it. So it's kind of crazy. Thanks, Midtown Manhattan. Damn, you in Midtown Manhattan looking at this? You know, if you are in Manhattan, it'd be a good experiment. Find me some moss in Manhattan. Uh, look at this algae. See these little algae right here swimming around? So that's pretty cool. Find me some moss in Manhattan and then uh, dig it out of some crack in the, in the sidewalk. You know, make sure it's not in any kind of sewage <laughs> or anything. And, and I'll, I'll, maybe I'll get a P.O. box and you can send it to me. And I can see if there's any New York tardigrades in there. How do they move? Are they on the surface or do they float? No, these, somebody on YouTube asked me, how do they move? They, they usually are in, in, in vegetation and they can just kind of walk through it. They'll just walk through it. But these are actually on glass, you know, between two pieces of glass. So it's actually like they're trying to walk on glass. So, but now this one's at the bottom of the slide. So you can see he's kind of got a grip He's almost like he's walking on a surface here of the moon. See that? So this is kind of how they are naturally right here. See how he walks? Okay. When they're in the grass, when they're in the glass up here, they tend to slide. So, so this one's actually doing a. He's digging for some food at the at, in this goop down here. So this is actually notice how how good he can walk when he's on a surface. Okay. And it's when they get onto the glass is when they tend to struggle a little bit. See how this one's on the on the the goop too? That that gives me an idea. I'm gonna start storing these upright so they can just walk around the bottom. I usually store them laying on the side. Okay. Yeah, this is yogurt friends. This is a tardigrade water bear and there's a baby water bear <laughs> next to him so that's what that is the one thing when they get on the bottom of the slide there's so much goop down here that they they get behind oh look see how he's jabbing at that stuff look see his little face jabbing at it he's actually eating they're eating right now so you're seeing a tardigrade feeding watch they have a little sucker in their mouth that that sucks out the juice from this stuff. Yeah, it's like a baby. Yeah, that's a baby over there. <laughs> see it? And you can see they're just eating the, the algae on the bottom of this stuff. Look, he's got his head dug into it, boys. Feast. And there's a big one. So you can see the size difference. See that little one? Oh, there goes a the paramecium. And look how big this one is. So, unfortunately, when they're down at the bottom like that, they're hard to get in focus. So don't lose interest on me because they're down here in the bottom. <laughs> so. so, and you can see that's a paramecium brucaria right there. That's a whole different, that's a single-celled creature. So that paramecium right there is a single cell. And he's a, I wish people would leave me alone. He's about half as big. So YouTube, you might have just lost the stream again. Sorry about that, because I got a phone call. So let me know, YouTube, if it's black again, and I'll try to remedy the situation here. It's black. 
God darn it, man, I swear. I don't think there's much I can do here. Let me just try to move around a little bit. I'm gonna uh, flip the camera. Let's see if that does any good. I'm actually gonna uh, stop. Uh, I'm actually gonna stop. I'm actually gonna stop. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move back on. So I just shrunk it down and came back on. So. YouTube, let me know if the screen's still black. My guess is it's black. If it is, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna fight it. I'm gonna invite you to go over to Reddit because this will be the third time it went black. So I'm gonna go over to Reddit. I'm on Reddit right now, but if you can go over to Reddit and catch the rest of my stream, it would help me out. And then next time, I'm just going to block calls and not take any calls except from one number, my granddaughter's school. It flickered white for a minute and then back to black. Okay. Let me try one more thing here. Hold on. Okay, yeah, go over to Reddit. And I'm going to actually in the YouTube stream and stop my regular camera uh, so we can go back to Reddit and have some peace. <laughs> so, so YouTube, thanks for coming. Y'all gave me a lot of viewing and I'm going to have to remedy this, remedy the situation with uh, YouTube. Um, so I'll be right back. Well, I'm going to end this stream on, on YouTube. And then what's going to happen is on Reddit, I'm going to have to put on my regular camera. So hang on a second. Thanks.